A Chaos Emerald? You've got to be kidding me, guys. This is like taking candy from a baby, which is fine by me. With us getting even closer to the release of the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie, and Keanu Reeves recently being announced as the official voice of Shadow the Hedgehog, I have decided now is a perfect time to go over the top 10 moments and references I would like to see for Shadow the Hedgehog in the Sonic the Hedgehog 3 movie. Man, that was a mouthful. How's everyone doing? I'm OC Disaster, and it's been a while. I haven't really been making content lately across all of my channels, so thank you so much for clicking on this video and taking the time to listen to me ramble. So yeah, this is going to be the top 10 moments and references I would like to see in the Sonic 3 movie, but only for Shadow. So everything else is just completely out of sight, out of mind. This is specifically Shadow the Hedgehog moments. Now, I do not want these to be one-to-one, -one, nor do I think they will be one-to-one. -one. I think they'll be adaptations of iconic scenes and lines that we have seen in previous Sonic the Hedgehog games. In addition, this is all speculative and all opinion-based, so I could be completely wrong. I could be halfway right. We just will have to wait till the movie comes out to see what they eventually do. I have a theory with no actual evidence that they are going to do most of the story or at least take inspiration from Sonic Adventure 2 mostly because that's when Shadow debuted in the Sonic universe. They might take some inspiration from the Shadow the Hedgehog video game because there is leaked set photos of police cars and stuff that say Westopolis on it, but I doubt that they're going to pull too much from that because of how convoluted that game gets and that's kind of like after we've already been introduced to Shadow. So I feel like it's going to be more like a TV show, like the Knuckles TV show. And they've announced during CinemaCon that they will be trying to expand the Sonic movie universe into TV shows and movies. Now, there are some more caveats to this. One being, we don't know the rating of this movie, so we don't know if there's going to be any type of language in it. Like in Shadow the Hedgehog, the video game, he curses a little bit. And then also he uses, obviously, guns, which is a signature thing and meme for the Shadow the Hedgehog character, but we're not quite sure how far they're willing to go with this yet. They did show in the CinemaCon trailer, which hasn't been made public yet, that Shadow does ride a motorcycle, which is quite fitting for multiple reasons. One, he does so in the Shadow the Hedgehog video game, but also because his voice actor, Keanu Reeves, is actually a motorcycle enthusiast, so it works really well with the character. Because of this, the first two on this list are definitely maybes for moments and references for the Sonic 3 movie because I simply do not know if they're going to let Shadow curse and if he's going to be wielding a gun at any point in time in this movie. Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? If they allow minor cursing, I can see it now. Keanu Reeves saying, where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? It's just an iconic line, it's so funny, and it would be great to have that in this movie. Next would be the visual of Shadow reloading his gun with the moonlight as the backdrop. Like I said, we don't know if guns are going to be a part of this movie, so he doesn't need to actually have a gun, but just the visual of him walking to the top, the tip of a cliff or something of that nature with the moon behind him illuminating his silhouette would be absolutely fantastic. Once again, I did not see the CinemaCon trailer, and I don't know when the public is going to be seeing that. That could be in it. I don't know at this point in time of recording. Number eight, once again, does not need Shadow with a gun, but just the visual of Sonic looking straight at the screen and being damaged and falling down to the ground with Shadow in the back looking menacing as heck. It makes sense because this is where Shadow is evil, where he is bad. For those that are unaware, Shadow is more of an anti-hero, but when he's first introduced, I assume in this movie, he will be a full-on villain like he is in Sonic Adventure 2. So it would make sense to have his visual of him completely clobbering Sonic. Buddy, 
Shadow's two biggest abilities is Chaos Control and Chaos Blast, and I think that they're going to utilize this in the movie. So it would be cool to see him teleporting around a little bit while he's fighting Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails, along with some other enemies as well, and then using his blast to take out mobs of gun soldiers or even Eggman robots if he decides to turn against Eggman. We'll have to see, but that would be really cool to see in this movie. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. That's the Chaos Emerald! Now I know what's going on. The military has mistaken me for the likes of you. So, where do you think you're going with that Emerald? Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! Number six is the iconic first meetup with Sonic and Shadow. Like I said, it doesn't need to be one-to-one -one with Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. It could be its own abridged thing, but I think it would make perfect sense to kind of have the same sort of staging where Sonic is down on the ground, Shadow is up on a building, kind of just flexing with the Chaos Emerald, and there's some banter going back and forth and then Shadow just blips out. That would be amazing, and it would be really nostalgic for us hardcore Sonic fans. Number five on this list onwards contains spoilers, but I mean, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle came out in like the early 2000s, so if you don't know the story, I guess click off the video and check those out on YouTube or play the games, but most people know the story by now. And like I said, I don't think they're gonna do a direct one-to-one -one story of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle for the Sonic movie, but this would be very cool to see. Could this be the prototype of the ultimate life form that was supposed to be encapsulated? Leave this one to me. Shadow, what are you doing? Shadow facing off against the Bio Lizard, the prototype ultimate life form. It makes sense as the finale part of building up to that climactic end, which we'll get to in a second. But you have Knuckles and Sonic looking at this thing, and then Shadow just walks into frame and says, I got it from here. Something like that. It doesn't need to be the Bio Lizard, it could just be facing a big robot or a big enemy. Shadow just stepping in and cleaning house himself without anyone helping him out, just to show how completely badass he is. <laughs> how pathetic. Find them before they escape! Maria! What? I beg of you, please, Maria. do it for me, for all the people on that planet. Sayonara, Shadow, the Hedgehog. I still remember what I promised you. For the people of this planet, I promise you. Revenge! Shadow, what do you think it's like on Earth? The professor said his life's work was dedicated to all of those who live down there. He once told that the reason for his existence was making people happy through the power of science. Shadow. Maria, I just don't know anything anymore. I often wonder why I was created, what my purpose is for being here. 
Maybe if I go down there, I, I will find the answers. Maybe. Maria. Why so melancholy? That was so unexpected, so unlike you, Shadow, to come and rescue me. But your ability to use the Chaos Control certainly comes in handy. Hmm. You know, I didn't come to save you. I came back for the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, yeah, but then again, that's not the whole story, is it? I really gotta stop whining. Everyone's trying their best to help out, and so must I! Shadow! We need you! Please help us! It's all going according to plan. There's no reason for me to help them. Besides, there's no way to save anyone. There has to be! I know that people fight over the most trivial things. Some people may be selfish, like the professor said. But they're basically good if they try their best and never give up on their wishes. They always have a reason to be happy. That's why you should help them out. Saving them is a good thing. Shadow, I beg you, please do it for them. Give them a chance. Shadow, I beg of you, please do it for me. Maria! For all people who live on that planet, give them a chance to be happy. I must keep that promise. That's what I really wish for. I've got to go now. I have to keep my promise to Maria. And me. My number four spot is kind of cheating because I have almost two moments put in as one, but it's so crucial to the Shadow character and so iconic in the visual where you have Shadow standing up on the bridge, looking down at police cars, it's just very cool. It's very shadow. You even see it remade and reimagined in Sonic Generations, the shadow boss battle with Sonic. He's standing up on something and then rides down. The Maria backstory. What more can you say? This is definitely going to be in the movie because they've even casted Maria already. In regards to how we see her fate, that could be a little bit different. We're just going to have to wait and see in that regard because it is pretty dark. For a kid's movie, then... We have the scene in the last story in Sonic Adventure 2 where Amy basically comes up and gives Shadow a pep talk about how, like, you know, he needs to help the crew save the world and Shadow doesn't want to. He's, like, torn. He's like, there's no use. And he has a flashback again to Maria and remembers her last words and is like, wait a minute. I made a promise. I need to just, you know, grow a pair and really do what I gotta do. And I think that would be a very emotional and impactful moment in the movie, the very much humanized Shadow up until that climax that we're about to talk about. And Shadow also cries. People sometimes forget about this because it's low poly, but Shadow actually cries in the scene when he thinks about Maria. So it gives him a little bit more humanity. So he's going into his anti-hero arc at this point. You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought that capsule you were in exploded in space. You know, what can I say? I die hard. So, there's more to you than just looking like me. What are you, anyway? What you see is what you get. Just a guy that loves adventure. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. I see. But you know, I can't let you live. Your adventure days are coming to an end. Number three is the iconic Shadow Sonic Showdown on the Space Colony art as they're running through a tunnel and doing some banter back and forth. Like I said, doesn't need to be one to one, but I can definitely see this happening towards the end of the movie before we get into the climax, which will be most likely the Bio Lizard. Not saying that it will 100% be, but like 
the big fight, the big bad, or Shadow will team up with Sonic. Hey, that's... That blue hedgehog again, of all places. I found you, Faker. Faker? I think you're the fake hedgehog around here. You're comparing yourself to me? Ha! Huh. You're not even good enough I'll to make be you eat my... Those words. Number two is the most quoted Sonic scene of all time, and that's I found you, Faker. It doesn't need to be in this exact setting. The words might be even changed around a little bit, but they have to at least have this as a reference, right? It's such a pivotal, like, moment in Sonic culture between Sonic and Shadow. It, I just, I can definitely see it in some sort of iteration being in this movie. This is what you wanted, right? This is my promise I made to you. Number one is, of course, Sonic and Shadow both going super form to take on the big bad, the Bio Lizard. It doesn't need to be the Bio Lizard. I've said that throughout this video, but it would just be really nice to have them both be in supersonic form, go up, or super form, I should say, supersonic, super shadow go up against the big bad, and then Shadow sacrifices himself and inevitably dies. And it's just a darker kind of end for this movie, but I think it would work really well. They did it in the game, so they can't say, oh, we can't do it in the movie, it's too dark. They did it in the games way back in the day. I can see them doing it again. So once again, spoilers there, but I mean, this game is super old. Shadow sacrificing himself for the greater good. He was a villain in the first and second act, but then starts to sway towards the final act. Even Eggman sways towards the end and they team up to fight a bigger bad. What that bigger bad will be, we don't know. They could bring Chaos into the mix. It could be Metal Sonic. It could be Gun. It could be uh, anything, really. They could really switch it up if they wanted to or they could stay true to the source material. So that is my top 10 shadow moments and references I would like to see in Sonic Movie 3. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm on the mark? Do you think I'm missing a few? Let me know down in the comments. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. And check out some of these other Sonic videos I have on the channel. I want to start churning out some more Sonic content very soon. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.